The Southern Union of the Euro-Asia Division is a complex place that includes some of the most difficult countries to work in. Church members here face some of the greatest challenges in the entire division. Despite these challenges, the leaders and members here are committed to reaching out to everyone in their local communities. They're committed to sharing the message of a God who loves and accepts all people. The town of Takmak, along the border of Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, was the training center for Russian MiG pilots during the Cold War. Now it is a sleepy town that sits in the Chu Valley under snow-capped mountains that mark the border with Kazakhstan. Here, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has operated an elementary school for the past 10 years. The school has seven grades and has more than 120 students, the majority of who are not Christians. On the last day of the school year, the students gather on the front steps of the school to sing and be recognized for their achievements. Proud parents watch as their children recite poems, sing songs, and thank teachers for another school year. Some students shed tears knowing that they won't be coming back to this Christian school after graduation. For the students here have come to realize that they have something in common with their Christian teachers and staff. At the conclusion of the service, one of the local parents offers a prayer in the style of the local religion. This parent is so committed to sending his children to this school that he drives a long distance each morning to make sure that his children attend the Christian school. The church in Takmak has a goal of growing the school to more than an elementary school. They're currently working on plans to finish a new building that will not only house elementary and middle schools, but a training center as well. The vision behind this school is great. We would like to, uh, to have a vocational training school, a uh, full-time high school with vocational training. And on this base, we would like to educate our missionaries, especially from among, from among indigenous people, and send them as tent makers all around our union to the places we would never imagine we could go and talk to people we, we've been praying for the last 100 years to reach. Bishkek, the capital of Kyrgyzstan, is home to more than 900,000 people and is the cultural and economic center point of the country. Here, the church has taken several unique approaches to reaching out to the residents of this beautiful city. The church has set up what they refer to as the National Church. Each Sabbath, a service is held in a more traditional style that is more familiar to the members of the indigenous religion. This segment of the population makes up only 10% of the church and is an area of great emphasis for local church leaders. This new church attracted a lot of attention at first from local religious leaders. Uh, the National Indigenous Church has began in Kyrgyzstan. We uh, had much attention from local imams and right now we have good relationship uh, with uh, nearby mosques. Another group that the church is reaching out to is the deaf community. Each Sabbath, a group of deaf church members meet in a small church building and hold services that are a sight to behold. They sing songs, study the Bible, and pray together in a service that has a real sense of fellowship. Members bring their friends and help to teach them the beliefs of a church that cares enough to provide a place for them to worship. Even though their voices can't be heard, their prayers and praise to God reach high into the heavens. The spiritual strength and commitment that they share each Sabbath should be an example for us all. In the country of Kazakhstan, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has built an evangelism and community center to serve the city of Almaty. This общественный center является большим благословением для этого мегаполиса. This center has been a big blessing to the city of Almaty. This city does not have a big hall where we can gather all of our members. We have more than 500 members in this city. This modern city is built on a plain at the foot of some of the most beautiful scenery in the division. Reaching the people with the gospel has been difficult at times, and one of the biggest challenges is finding places to hold evangelistic meetings. The pastors are dreaming of a place like this where they can gather the people. When construction on the new center is finished, it will house many needed services for the local community. One of these will be an English language school. The teachers from this school are a direct influence on their students.
and they're not only teaching uh, language, uh, which is of uh, high requirement, uh, especially now in this part of the world, uh, but they also uh, give lessons uh, uh, in their behavior, in their lifestyle uh, of uh, what it means to be a Christian. A portion of your 13th Sabbath offering this quarter will benefit the members of this union. It will also help to spread the message of hope in Jesus to the millions of people in this region who need to hear of a loving Savior. Thank you for your support of Adventist Mission, and thank you for supporting the 13th Sabbath offering. Your prayers and financial support are making a difference in people's lives around the world. To learn more about Mission, please visit AdventistMission.org.